Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wandering Village Experimental Version. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I thought I would just check out to see what has changed in the experimental version. And then I started up a new game, and I found kind of the perfect Anbu. He has tons of dirt at the front, so I was like, you know what, let's just... Let's just take a look together at what has changed in the experimental version and what we maybe can come to expect later on in the main branch. Now, taking a look just at the UI to start, this is different. Total population now tells you there's 10. We've got 10 free workers at the moment and 10 idle workers because we don't really have anyone assigned to jobs. This is still looking the same. And I don't know, did the tools get a new... Do they look a little different? I don't know. They might look a little different. When we come into the ground, things look the same down here. We've got our clay. We've got these bigger rocks that are around. And of course, we're going to need to be mining those. We've got the very dense trees. Now, this is very different than the version we just finished where we had the tree scarcity. But they are here, extremely dense. Now, this is new. So taking a look at these buildings, the wood cutting camp and the mining camp and the clay gathering camp now have their own artwork. And honestly, it is looking so pretty. I'm loving those already. Everything in here starts to look the same. So tent, research building. But I bet you there's gonna be new artwork coming along. Ooh, oh, this is interesting. You can't even click on the ones that you don't have anything in. So we don't have any refined resources or on boo food or on boo interaction or poison or exploration or decoration. And we just can't click on them. Okay, cool. Holy moly, the research tree looks completely different though. Look at this, we've got, what is this? The research is so random. It's not separated into categories now. We've got the mycologist over here in the eat command, automatic collector, the air well. So we still need different things. So the advanced funnel, for example, does come off the air well. It needs iron and ancient notes. Okay, ancient notes are new. We've never seen those before. The automatic collector upgrade. So how does this work? Do we have to get the air well first, then the farm. Then I guess you'd go to the water tank and horn blower. Then you've got corn and cactus down here. How far does this go? And like, are tomatoes still a thing? Or are we going to automatically start off with tomatoes? I don't see them here anywhere. Or, oh, tomatoes are way down here past the pantry. Holy moly, this everything has changed. And that means I think we're going to be starting a brand new playthrough here on Ombi's Back. We need to check out everything that's different here because this is completely different than the last time we looked at the experimental version. This is like, the research, this is just like a whole new game. This doesn't feel the same at all. But it is nice to see, oh, the community plaza. I mean, that's looking really nice. The artwork is beautiful. The things that they've added, I think are really, really good. Stabilizing spike does not look like it's got any art yet, but the blacksmith, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. The scout tower looks like it's gotten a bit taller, although you don't really often see that. Poisonous fungi, oh yeah, to learn how to grow them ourselves. Wow, okay, this is amazing. I am so excited. So I guess let's not look at this anymore because we're gonna have to come back to this quite a lot. Let's jump into a brand new one. Now, this is not with any hostility modifiers. We're just gonna be taking a look. We may do a hostility ver uh, challenge again after we've had a good look at this version. So let's start off. We're gonna need some tents. We're also going to need some wood. Tents cost 15 wood. And we have exactly 15 wood. So hold on, maybe we need to get a wood cutting camp first. Wood cutting camps only cost our tools. It doesn't actually cost wood. And I'm thinking because we have such a good spot here for dirt, let's start thinking about putting farms in probably here-ish. Farms over here. So we have the mycologist kind of over here, putting things really close to what they need to be going near. And we're gonna need to clear out a big space up the front here, close to Anbu's head. So let's stick that in over there. A clay gathering camp. Let's see where that's going to best fit. It's five in range there, five in range over there. I think. Oh, there's six. Oh, no, that's covering. I can't put it there. Could put it there, though. That's a good start. What is this? Wood cutting camp. Um, we need people in it. That's what it's saying. So it's saying there's no one working there. So get people in there, I guess. At least I think that's what that's saying. Here we go. Again, add workers. I can add a worker before it's even built though, from the looks of it. There we go. So we've got a couple workers in those. This one though, we don't have any stone at the moment. So let's get two workers gathering stone at that mining camp. And we're gonna start putting in some tents. Now, of course, tents don't need to be near anything because they don't actually go to them. And I don't think that has changed. So we only just stick some tents in down here somewhere. I think we can also manually harvest stuff. So let's get them to come manually clear a little space down here. That's where we'll put the tents to start. 
also going to maybe manually clear just some of these stones. Just so we have stones and then people have things to work on. Research building. I guess we're going to need wood and stone for that as well. If the research notes haven't changed. So let's get a research building built. That's going to take a little bit of time because we don't have any stone. And we don't have any clay yet either. So yeah, we've got a few things that are just going to take a little bit of time. Material storage. Oh, a berry gatherer. I kind of forgot about food. Yeah, we kind of need that straight away. There are a few berry bushes in range here. Ten. I guess that's okay. We're going to be covering up a couple that aren't built yet. But that looks like our best place at the moment. Now, I think we can still, yeah, harvest and remove these. So let's choose a couple to be harvested and removed. And we'll high prioritize that. And then hopefully people can go and do that. And we can plant them near to our building. I don't know if that's like super high priority, but I guess food should actually be high priority. So let's do that. We'll get the workers in there once it's built. And I think we'll just take time on. Anbu has started off in the mountains and then he's heading into a jungle. Both of those are not the worst places for him to start. What is going on now? This is saying we don't have any workers in that. Well, full staff is required in the research building. That is different. That was not a requirement before having full staff in there. I think we'll keep that disabled for a moment because we can enable it, but we don't have any people in there. We just want them to build it. Are they going to build it if it's paused? No, let's do that. Three staff. So that's new. Having three staff and having it that it's required is completely different as well. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see all the changes in here. So I know just a few weeks ago, by the time this released though, it's going to be about three weeks ago, uh, they did release a new roadmap. Some of the things that they're planning on doing. The 1.0 version, the full release, isn't intended until the new year. So we're looking at 2025 and that's a little bit of a ways away, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited about it. All right, there we go. We can have somebody come and now gather some food, which means we'll actually have some berries because we are going to run out of food fairly quickly here. Don't currently have any idle workers, but we do have five available workers. Oh, now that's gone down to four. I, don't know, I need to see what the research is going to look like to make those notes again. All right, looks like they're already planting some of the new berry bushes. And they have three more in inventory now, just two, but that's good. So they're getting lots of berries gathered around or planted around there. I'm gonna set these trees for being harvested just so that they have more room to plant more berries. And we are going to need the wood anyways. So now villager happiness, we're currently getting minus three because we are homeless, but they do get full of hope as a starting bonus. So we got three days and 11 hours left on that with a plus six. Otherwise, we're going to start having problems. And now remember, this is the version where we have, if we're happy enough, then we can have villagers automatically reproducing. So it's going to be pretty important that we get these tents in fairly quickly here. Let's just, how many are we going to need? A tent is good for two villagers. So we need a couple. And of course, they do reproduce pretty quickly. And it did get quite difficult to keep up with their housing demands before. So let's see if we can get those built fairly quickly. There we go. There's lots of people over there working, at least probably four of them. Right, Anbu is waking up, which is exciting. And where is he going to head off to? Into the jungle. Yes. OK, and he can't actually see anything on the map. I find that really interesting. So there's not a single thing. I, normally you can see, I don't know, like quarries or ruined settlements. Of course, you can't go to them because you don't have anybody available. So I wonder if can you not see anything? on the map until you've got scavenging parties or a lookout tower of some sort. Cause I mean, that would be pretty cool. And that's definitely a new mechanic. Looking up ahead here though, abandoned encampment. This campsite looks like it has long been deserted. There's not much left, but you may find some tools amidst the debris. So it looks like Anbu is going to just be walking straight to it. We'll have to see how that goes. That is new and I'm so excited about all these new changes. Oh my goodness, I'm so goodness. I'm so glad that I've opened up the experimental version again because it looks like there's going to be so many new things to explore and discover. OK, missing resources. So it looks like there are no more berries currently grown. So I guess we could close. Oh, there's one right there, though. Now, Maybe we just keep one person in there working for now. And as far as other berry bushes go, what are we going to do? We're going to I think, grab them like this. We're going to need to get a farm in fairly quickly. You know, a farm we can't automatically build. We need the air well first. And then we need to be able to get farms and we have to research the parent technology first to research this. We need just looks like 25 wood. So maybe if we put another person in here to collect the wood, that might help us. The tents are going in and we are going to be getting a good supply of wood there, but I need to research it. So I think we actually need to get this done. It's just missing one clay. So here comes the clay over and then we just need somebody to come and build it. Then we're going to have to put staff in there and see what that research is going to look like. 
Because looking in here, it looks like we just need to research, or we have to have 25 wood in order to research it. Unless this is, yeah, because to make it, we need 15 wood and 20 stone. But to research it, it looks like we just need 25 wood. So you don't need those research notes early, like the construction notes. If you're taking a look along here, it doesn't look like construction notes are a thing anymore. It looks like we're using planks and clay, or there's just planks. Here we need mushrooms, stone, and planks. So it looks like the research notes thing is gone, which I think is maybe good. The research note thing was probably my least favorite thing about the experimental version. And I imagine they got a lot of feedback from other people as well on that one. All right, this research building is now open. If we fully staff this, then what happens? I don't have enough workers. Right, okay, that's a problem. No, we should have enough workers. People just need to go over there. All right, let's take a look at the research tree now. Okay, so we can now make the air well. So yes, let's research that. And it's not instant, it takes time. Okay, so it's changed what you need to do it. We've researched it. We spent 25 wood on that. And now they need to actually spend some time doing it. And this is what was lacking in the last version where you, once you had the notes to do it, you just got it. All right, lots of tents have gone in. So we just have two homeless people left. So we just need one more tent to be constructed. Then our happiness will be a lot better. We are passively getting people now though. So we do need to make sure we get multiple tents. Anbu has entered a jungle biome though, which is probably a good thing. Oh, here we are actually seeing some things out of range. Let's see though, we've got a place that holds an ancient artifact containing forgotten knowledge at the shrine. It's currently out of range. Time estimate is six days, 16 hours. We're moving closer to it. So this is lowering at the moment. It still sells us our expected rewards, but it tells us to build a scavenger hut to be able to send expedition parties to this location. So ancient notes are the expected reward there. And at the settlement, it's four to five people. Still that really, really long time frame though of getting those things. All right, another tent has gone in. I wonder as far as scavenging party goes, that's probably really far away. Just taking a look through the research, seeing if we can find where do we get the scavenging parties? How far down is it? Because I quite like to get them really early. Oh, it's here. So it's on the kind of the main path in the middle. So we need planks and slabs. But first we'd have to get the kitchen, the ombu observation post, the carpenter, the stonemason, the horn blower, the water tank, and the farm. And of course we're working on the farm now. So once the air well's done, we'll do a farm next. All right, the research is completed. So the air well's done. So now those ones are technically opened up, but we don't have the resources to do it. So it's highlighted it in red, which is actually very handy. Now we should be able to build an air well, and I'm probably going to build a farm. The plan was to build a farm up here once that wood was all collected. So let's put the air well here and then we can have Actually, that's a bad spot for the air well. Let's put the air well. I don't know where we're gonna put the air well, actually. I wanna put the farm kind of right where this is. So we kind of just need them to get these trees gone, which means I sort of need another worker in there. I guess we can close this though temporarily because no one is gonna be researching anything. We don't have the res resources needed. And having a few spare workers is only going to be helpful. I am amazed at how much has changed because it hasn't been all that long since we ended our experimental version. We did end it with a kind of a surprise but that did mean we get to do watch that hostility challenge in between and i really did enjoy doing the hostility challenge but i actually really love exploring the updates and the changes as well and going back and playing the hostility update did miss make me miss some of the things about the experimental version that we were using before and getting more familiar with right tents have been constructed so nobody is homeless anymore so our happiness is quite high total housing we have is 12 and total people is only 10. We are very close to getting some more people, four more people if we keep this happiness up. So we do need to get this last tent constructed just to make sure we have homes for all the people that we need. Probably are going to want to build a couple more of these as well. Might just stick a couple in up top here and yeah, to kind of double the housing that we have. Two nomads would like to join our settlement. So we are going to be welcoming them on. And I do love that. I missed that mechanic very much when we were doing the hostility challenge because getting people was quite a little struggle or oh, a rain cloud going through a rain cloud but i don't have my air well built yet we do need to get that air well in let's stick it up down somewhere here let's we'll stick it here that'll be fine we're gonna put the farm okay we're we gonna put the farm that high see i can't decide this is where because i don't have a farm yet to decide where i'm putting the farm i think the farm's gonna go in this area here so the air well could go i don't know maybe the air well goes over here because we're gonna have multiple I don't know. Let's just put the air well there. Just make a decision. You just have to make a decision. You search the abandoned camp and find three tools. So Anbu just walked through that thing that was on the ground. 
And we found three tools, which is good. So you can get passive tools now, just finding them as you wander around with Anbu, which is great because actually it took quite a long time before you started getting more tools in the last one. All right, a few more tents have gone in, which is great. Research wise, are we ready to do the next one? Yes, we can research the farm now, but we need to put workers back in here. So let's open that up. We'll get three workers back in there. They can start researching the farm and then we can put a farm up here somewhere. Now, of course, we do have the woodcutting camp that's in the way at the moment, but that's not going to be forever. All right, we're coming up to our very first crossroads in this game. Now, there's so many fewer things out and about on the map to look at. Just those two things at the moment. But we do have a crossroads. We can't do anything about it because, of course, we don't have the hornblower yet. And we're actually not even close to getting the hornblower. So we're just going to let Anbu continue walking. But yeah, I am really surprised about how few items there are on the map. There's just there's nothing around. Is that going to be how it is? Is it because we don't have some sort of viewpoint to look? And also going from the hostility where we had the fog and the map was so tiny, this is feeling like massive, like I can see everywhere. All right, we're already on to day six, going through the rain. We don't have this built yet. Let's see if we can get that to be a bit more of a priority. Bring the items over. I don't want the tents to be priority at the moment. Uh, we do need the air well. Anbu seems unsure of which path to take, but also our farm research is done. The other thing about this version is I love that it is so noisy. It has all of those different sounds. And I just, I love that. Now it looks like, is the area on the farm, has it gotten smaller? Or is it always that small? I, everything feels new and that freaks me out. <laughs> right, let's get a person in there. We just missed the rainstorm, which is a little unfortunate, but a farm would be great. I'd like the farm to go in like, I don't know. Do we want it really close to the air? Well, cause it almost makes sense. They don't have as far to carry it. Let's put it right here, I think. This is going to be gone, right? So that's not going to be permanent. So get the farm in over there. Let's see, did Anubu make a choice yet? No, not quite yet. So either staying in the jungle or heading back into the mountains. Ideally, staying in the jungle because this is pre-poison time and staying in the jungle means things are growing better. Not that that matters at the moment, actually, technically, because we don't have a f farm in yet. Now, looking at the research tree, getting the farm has unlocked Hornblower, Flophouse and Water Tank. Now, we're going to need just a bit of water to get the water tank. That makes really good sense. Flophouse needs quite a lot of clay and the horn blower needs 50 wood, which we don't have at all either. So let's close this off again because then those workers will go back out and help do things that we need to have done. I can't work out what this notification is trying to tell me. Like it's telling me that these two tents, I think, don't have the resources they need. So like, I think it's maybe like a flagged thing. Like something's going wrong. Go check on it. If you click on it, it does go to the next one. So since there's two, it does toggle between the two. So it's gotta be just telling us like something's wrong. Find out what's wrong. So now there's three because this farm is built and there's no people in it. Okay, so it's just telling us kind of what the problem is. This whole area is going to be for planting beets. Beets are of course better in, oh wait, hold on. Beets are better in the cold. This is new. Beets normally are perfect in the jungle but they do grow here, but now they grow in the mountains the best. Beets are a winter crop, so therefore grow it where it's colder. Interesting. Well, luckily for us then, Anbu's heading into the mountains where it is going to be a bit colder. That is a big change. I wonder if that means that each biome is now going to have very specific crops to growing in that biome, because before the mountains didn't have anything other than the heel shrooms that it was best for growing at. Heel shrooms did grow better in the cold, but everything else I think was better in the jungle and just kind of tolerated the cold or didn't grow in the cold at all. So that is quite interesting. I like that as a change as well. Now we should be getting some water in, which is good. We're also going to start getting some beets in from that slowly but surely. Does that mean we are now ready? We could unlock the water tank now. We do have the resources for that. I think we will do that. That is using up all of our water and it does mean we need to get some workers back in here. But we did have four free workers so now those four well three of those four can go into there and start the research but i think having water tank is going to be helpful especially if we do kind of desert having some water in reserve is going to be good Anbu's already getting quite hungry and quite sleepy now we are in a safe zone at the moment so if he lies down and sleeps it's no problem for us we have some things up here oh yeah in the experimental version they had the different kinds of mushrooms for Anbu to find so up here is the stinkhorn fungi. Healthy food for Anbu, but the nauseating smell will linger and dampen the mood of our villagers. So they'll make our people unhappy, but at least Anbu will be fed. So that is coming up. So we don't have to worry too much about Anbu's hunger. The mines. Oh, look, elephant eggs in the mines there. 
I like how you can, I do like the expected resources as like the rewards in these. So that is, that is something that I did miss in the regular version over this experimental version. Anbu's now in the mountains biome, which means our beets are now at optimal growth, which is exciting. Because you don't often, you don't have that normally. All right, water tank has now been researched. Let's just take a look at, is there anything else we can do? No, we need more clay and we need more wood. So let's close this off again. And let's get them to go prioritize some of these trees, I think. Can you go and help cut the trees down? And over here, the sooner we get all this wood, the better. And two more nomads would like to sell, settle on Anbu because we're so happy. And do we still have housing enough for everybody? Oh yeah, we've got double the housing we need. We've got 28 total housing and 14 people at the moment. So we're good for that for quite a while. And all those extra people will only be a good thing. Let's pop. Throw some of them into the farm and we can have three farmers going. Maybe another person into clay. And that brings us back down to three free workers, I believe. So that should be fine. Ooh, Anbu is lying down, sleepy guy. This is a good spot for him to sleep. We are not having any poison ground toxicity because we're still too early into the game. Now, the other thing, in the very first time we looked at the experimental version, they only had relaxed mode. We're not playing on relaxed mode, we are playing on veteran and that means we've got a bit more difficulty so it should actually be more challenging than our last time in the experimental version we'll have to see if that's actually true but that should be the case all right here comes a bit of rain so hopefully that reaches on boost back and we get a bit of a boost to our air well now what's the problem here nothing to gather all right but you're just planting and harvesting so that's okay taking a look at our research street we now can do hornblower so I'm going to say yes to that. We have the wood for it. Let's get our workers back in here. I think we'll just take them out of the farm and possibly one out of the clay gatherers just to make sure we have enough spare idle workers who are gonna be gathering these trees. But also I think we'll be okay for food. We still have 31 berries and berries are still going up plus the six beets that we currently have. I think that is all looking fine. Now I am just extremely excited that this experimental version is getting constant updates. Now of course I can't promise we'll get to any specific spot in this game because of course if the experimental version is updated again it sometimes breaks your save and I think if the save breaks we'll start another game and we'll find out what's new but no promises about how far we'll get in this settlement. We're just going to explore the update and have a very good time hanging out with our very favorite dinosaur Anbu here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with The Wandering Village, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.